Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be showing you how to pour up some alginate impressions with stone. So I took these impressions and I am going to be sending them out to the laboratory for a state plate of number 11. So I'm gonna get my setup ready, I'm gonna grab some stone. Before you pour up the impressions, it is very important to make sure you dry them up first. So with an air and water syringe, just make sure the impression is dried up, which I already did that. I have my spatula, my stone, and the vibrating machine. I put a napkin over it just so I won't make a mess on the machine itself. And then we have a cup filled with stone. The main reason why you want your impressions to be dried is so you don't get any air bubbles. We do not want no air bubbles at all in our impressions. So I make sure that the consistency is very, very thick. And it is very important to have your PPEs. As you just saw, there was stone flying everywhere and you do not want to get this in your eyeballs. So as I am mixing, I could feel the consistency and you could also see that it's very thin. So I'm just gonna add more stone to it and make it thicker. So the calibration on the vibrator is at, I believe, eight. So it's vibrating pretty, pretty fast. Um, and if your hands get tired, do not give up. This is a workout. Just pretend you are making pancakes. Remember that everybody does this completely different. Everybody has their own technique. This is my technique. So now that I got the consistency I wanted, I'm going to start placing a small amount of stone on the distal ends of the arch. And as you can see, it's going to work its way around the entire arch. So this is gonna be my first space. I wanna make sure there's no air bubbles. If you see an air bubble, that means you have to continue um, vibrating this impression. So I do this trick where I tap the impression. So as you can see, I'm gonna take it off the vibrating machine and I'm gonna tap it. And that usually helps um, eliminating some air bubbles that I see. So after that one layer, I'm just gonna set this aside and I'm gonna do my lower arch. notice that my first base is complete I will grab the cup and add more stone into the stone that's already mixed I will also be adding a little bit of water so for the second part of the stone I like to make it very 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 thick it's okay to get messy we could clean it up afterwards it is very important to mix this together very well. You don't want to have any air bubbles and you don't want to have different layers of stone mixed around. So as long as it takes you, just be patient. You'll get the consistency you want. Remember, the thicker, the better. Obviously, every stone is different. The stone that we have compresses with the first layer very nicely. So I turned off the vibrating machine because I will no longer be using that. But I know there is some stones out there that are very difficult to use. So I'm just layering it nicely. This is my favorite part about pouring up stone alginate impressions because the outcome of what it looks like is just so beautiful and so aesthetically pleasing. So I'm going to do this first layer. It's very important that you do not get any stone on the tray because it's going to be very, very difficult to get it off once the stone is set. So just, you know, have fun doing this. You shouldn't be rushed. If you're rushed, I'm so sorry.
Question, does anybody else have this issue where they do not like pouring the lower impression because you have a little bit of spatula space and trace space? Um, usually I would say that it's a little difficult, but others might say otherwise. So I ran some water and I'm wetting my fingers so I could clean up the areas where I got stone on the tray. Remember, we do not want stone on the tray because this will make your impression harder to pull apart. So I'm putting more stone because it's very important that we have that nice second layer and I'm wetting my fingers again and just going all over it on top, cleaning it, making it look nice and pretty. So now it is cleanup time. Please clean up as fast as you can because you don't wanna leave stone anywhere and everywhere. So I'm just going to change my gloves. It, I find it easier just changing gloves and cleaning up instead of washing my hands. But in some cases, your doctor might not allow you to change your gloves because of waste of gloves. So basically, I'm just going to start cleaning. We have some cavicide spray. I'm just going to move my impressions to the other side. And I'm going to put the stone away back where it belongs to its little home. We're going to put the bowl on the sink and we're just going to be throwing everything like on the sink in the sink but I'm gonna make sure I clean it all off our sink has a filter some sinks may not have a filter so make sure you ask your dental office if they have a, a filter on the sink so that way you could pour some stone under the drain I do not like to pour stone under the drain, but if it happens, it happens. Usually I just leave my stone there to harden up. And then once it hardens up, I then toss it in the trash and I clean it nicely. It's just the way I work. I'm cleaning the machine. It's very important that it looks brand new after you're done using it. This is a very helpful, important tip. You always wanna check your impression to see if some stone is falling down on the blue tray, which in this case it is. So I'm gonna go and clean it up because I do not want stone on the tray. It's gonna make it much difficult to break apart and we don't want that. We want it to break apart nice and evenly and we don't wanna struggle here, okay? It is that time of day that has been two hours. So I'm finally gonna break this apart and just watch how nicely it comes apart. no air bubbles at all i'm so proud of myself so now i am going to be shipping this out i'm going to be getting a bubble wrap bag and i'm going to be putting the impressions inside one by one i'm going to set them away from each other we don't want them to break so it's very important that we always protect them when we are sending them out and i'm just going to fold it and tie it up with a rubber band and there you have it, a nice alginate stone impression with my bio registration. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Until next time, bye!